Hey, welcome back to the lecture. In this lecture, let's understand LCD commands. So, how to create an LCD command and how to send a command or a data byte to the LCD. We should create LCD commands which we can use to initialize and control the operations of the LCD. Remember that a command is of 8 bits long. There are various uh, LCD commands you can create. Uh, LCD commands you can create to function set. You can control the display. You can control the cursor on off. The blink control of the cursor. You can decide the entry mode. You can clear the display of the LCD. You can set coordinates, activate or deactivate display shifting. So various things you can do by sending commands to the LCD. Let's understand how to send a command or a data to the LCD. So a command or a data byte is of 8 bits, that is 1 byte long. You can send all 8 bits in one go over 8 data lines. Or you can split into 2 data transmissions of 4 bits each. Basically, we are going to use this method in this exercise. So we are going to split a byte into two data transmissions of 4 bits each. For 4 bit data transmission, you only need four data lines connected between LCD and the microcontroller unit. That means for 4 bit data transmission, you must use the data lines D4 to D7. Please note that. So that means DB0 to DB3 is not at all used when you use the LCD in 4-bit data transmission mode. This picture I have taken from the data sheet. You can learn more about these data pins in the data sheet. How to send a command? First, you should create a command code. I'll teach you later how to create a command code. And after that, make the RS pin low. Why? Because you are sending a command. Read-write pin should be low because you are writing into the LCD. After that, first send the higher nibble, the higher 4 bits of the command code to data lines. After that, make the LCD enable pin high to low. This is very important. So you first, you send the 4 bits here and after that you have to make LCD enable pin high to low. When LCD detects high to low transition on the enable pin, it reads the data from the data lines. This fifth step is very important. After that, send the lower nibble of the command code to the data lines. And again, you have to make LCD enable pin high to low. And after that, this is again very important. You have to wait for the instruction execution time. Once you send the command, LCD will be involved in executing that instruction. That's why you have to wait until the instruction execution time is elapsed. That instruction execution time is mentioned in the LCD data sheet. Otherwise, there is one more method. That is, you have to read the busy status of the LCD. Busy status of the LCD can be read on the D7 pin. If that pin's status is high, that means the LCD is busy in doing its internal operation. That's why either you can check the busy flag or you wait by giving some delay until the instruction execution time has been elapsed. So let's say your command code is 0 cross 28. This is a binary format of that. And this is a connection between MCU and the LCD. So four lines are used. D4 to D7. First, you have to send the higher nibble. This is the data of the higher nibble. So the fourth bit, you have to send over D4 line. Fifth bit on D5 line. Sixth bit on D6 line. And seventh bit on D7 line. So after that, you have to send the lower nibble. So the zeroth bit has to be sent over D4 line. The first bit has to be on D5 line, D6 line, and D7 line. Now let's write a function for LCD send command. Let me write that here. Void LCD send command. Uint8 underscore TCMD. Please 
note that rs must be 0 for lcd command and rw bar should be 0 for writing into the lcd so we'll do this we already have the code here first drive the rs to 0 and after that drive the rw to 0 and after that first you have to send the higher nibble right so we can use our function write four bits let me copy this prototype and uh, paste here you can use write four bits cmd write shifted by four higher nibble after that the lower nibble that is cmd bitwise and with zero cross zero f the lower nibble once you send a nibble to the lcd you have to make lcd enable that means you have to make a high to low transition on the enable pin this is actually explained in the timing diagram of the lcd data transfer if you go to the LCD data sheet, if you go to the page number 22, so here you see it shows how the data transmission should be done. Let's understand how to send an instruction or a command. Here, IR means instruction. First, you send the higher nibble 4, 5, 6, 7. Once you send that, see this enable pin. You should make high to low transition. And after that, you send the lower nibble, IR0, IR1, 2, 3, and make a transition, high to low. Once you send the instruction, a complete instruction of 8 bits, then you have to wait. Wait for the busy flag to reset. Or if you don't want to check the busy flag, then you can wait for some time as suggested by the data sheet. And after that, you can send any data or another command. If you want to understand instruction execution time, then you can go to the data sheet page number 25. Here they have explained the instructions. There are various instructions like clear display, return home, entry mode set, display on off control. And at the right hand side, you can see the execution time. So if you don't want to check the busy flag, then it's fine at least you have to wait for these many microseconds i hope you get some idea about sending a command so that's what done in the code okay when you send four bits onto the data lines we call lcd enable now let's implement this lcd enable let me implement right here static void lcd enable here you have to do high to low transition on the enable line so let's copy this code right to output pin on enable line right let's make it as high first let's make it as set and then let's wait for around 10 microseconds let's say and after that make it low like you give a kind of pulse reset and uh, after resetting let's wait for another 10 microseconds or and after resetting let's wait for 100 microseconds i think you can give any value which is greater than 37 microseconds because it says the instruction execution time is 37 microseconds for some instructions for these instructions the instruction execution time is little high you can see that it is in terms of milliseconds i hope you get the idea of sending command to the lcd you just have to keep in mind this timing diagram there is one more timing diagram let me show you that 
So here there is one more timing diagram which shows uh, how you should do busy flag check if you wish to do busy flag check. You see here you send the data here. So once you send the data you should make enable pin low to high transition. Once you do the low to high transition the internal operation kicks in. That's why LCD will be in busy state. It will be doing its internal operation functioning. That's what it says. You should confirm the busy flag that the busy flag is not set. After that only you can send next instruction. So if you don't want to check the busy flag as I said wait for some time. So just give a wait blocking wait and you can send the next instruction. In this application the busy flag is not checked instead we wait by using the use leaf function. Now let's understand how to send a data byte to the LCD. It is very similar to the command code. First you have to make RS line high because you are sending a user data now and make RW bar low. First send the higher nibble of the data to the data lines. Make LCD enable pin high to low. Send the lower nibble and make LCD enable pin high to low. Here there is no wait actually. Why? Because it is not an instruction. That's the user data. Let's see how it is implemented. After that let's give the prototype of this function at the top. We actually implemented a function lcd send command. This will be used by the user application so that's why we should expose this in the header file. That's why I'm going to mention it in the header file. Now let's implement our next function that is lcd send data or lcd send car. Let me call it as lcd send car data. First you should make rs is equal to 1 for lcd user data. Let's make that. rs is set. After that this is same. Let's keep this as it is. RW bar is equal to 0 for write. And after that, send higher nibble and lower nibble. That's it. This is sending higher nibble. That's it. This is same as sending command. First, higher nibble of the data will be sent on the data lines D4, D5, D6, D7. And then lower nibble will be sent on the same data lines. That is D4, D5, D6, D7, which is taken care of by our write 4 bits helper function. And in the next lecture, let's understand how to create a command code. I'll see you in the next lecture.